The cabinet is soon expected to give its approval to allow full strategic di disinvestment up to 100% in the petroleum and natural gas sector, where in principle approval has been given by the cabinet for disinvestment. The cabinet had uh, earlier given its clearance for a strategic disinvestment of BPCL like it did in Air India. This once done will facilitate the early privatization of India's second biggest oil refiner, Bharat Corp Petroleum Corp Limited. The government is privatizing BPCL and it's selling its entire 52.98% stake in the company. At present, only 49% foreign direct investment is permitted through the automatic route in petroleum refining, uh, petroleum refining by public sector units without any disinvestment or dilution of domestic equity in the existing stocks. Sunil Prabhu joins us now for more on this. Sunil, um, BP sale, a very big priority. Where exactly is the disinvestment process? Well, what had happened was that the cabinet had given an in-principle approval earlier. And now what has happened is that uh, they've realized that uh, when they've spent in for the disinvestment, they needed the automatic route so that uh, foreign players, uh, strategic uh, partners who are interested in BPCL, uh, they should be permitted. And so that is why a cabinet note has now been moved uh, through the Commerce Ministry to allow uh, automatic uh, disinvestment in the petroleum and natural gas uh, uh, sector, especially for companies where the cabinet has given in-principle approval, in this case, the Bharat Petroleum. Uh, and uh, when this, uh, the stage will be set uh, for its strategic disinvestment. Uh, and hopefully in the coming year, uh, they will be able to go ahead with this entire exercise. Uh, and uh, after Air India uh, completely strategically disinvest the entire government stake of nearly 53% uh, from the Bharat Petroleum Corporation. Thanks, uh, Sunil, very much for joining us with those details.